Yes, it was the first day of school, and yes, things felt just slightly different. Teachers weren't giving kids hugs, and parents were being asked to not enter the building. Still, many said they were happy to be getting back to the classroom. Welcome, good to see you. It was a greeting months in the making. Good morning, girls. You ready for this? One that was overdue not just because of summer, but because of something else. A nasty, invisible virus that shook up school last spring. The same virus that had parents putting face coverings on their kids and teachers handing out masks. I'm glad you're here. Yes, the Post Falls School District is back at it, including Prairie View Elementary. The school district is starting the year under their orange category, meaning students are in school on some days and learning from home on others. At school, the kids were asked to keep their distance from one another. I just keep telling the students, I've got a hug waiting for you in 2021. The safety measures certainly impacted parents, too, who were being asked to not go inside the building. So I can't send parents in today. Um, I'm not really sure. I think we're all kind of nervous. We don't really know what to expect, but we're hoping for the best. Now, it wasn't just the first day of school in Post Falls, but Rathdrum, too. There was a difference for the Lakeland School District, though. That district is starting off under a yellow category, meaning kids are in classes five days a week. That category includes recommended face coverings and a one hour early release. Outside Lakeland High School, the traffic was picking up on Tuesday morning, a reminder that school was here once again. Good morning, ladies. How are you? Back in Post Falls, the start of the new year marked uncharted territory. But it also felt somewhat like a return to normal during a year that's been anything but. The kids are hopeful, they're excited, they're ready to get back into the routine and see their friends and have recess and all of that, so I hope it works out. We love our students, they love our staff, um, and, and we just can't wait till the, the regular high fives and fist bumps and hugs can come back. The Post Falls School Board is slated to meet next week. The district superintendent tells CREM board members may discuss changing the district's operating category at that time. In Post Falls, Taylor Vido, CREM TV.